Monday, happy 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 Monday, Girl, hey, bitch, come here. Let me talk oh, to you wow. real quick. I know yeah. you with your man. Look at but your feet. I need to talk to you real quick. <laughs> Look at the feet. Let me, like, yeah, yeah, hold on. Oh, is that, is that Hamilton? Nah, I can't do it. Nah, I can't even do it. <laughs> I can't even do it. Get right, 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 right back. Hey, nigga, come get your bitch. Johnny, man. What's going on, man? <laughs> 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 terrible, man. I'm about to tell you. This is y'all shit. I don't know how y'all watching this today, but if you're watching this on YouTube, because you can't be watching this on TV, I appreciate you. Subscribe, like, and comment. Shout out to everybody that listened to episode 230 of the podcast. If you're watching or if you're listening right now, you can find this podcast on various platforms from Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and of course, YouTube's every Wednesday. Um, real quick, we are going on a brief vacation. We won't be here next Friday. I thought we would be. AKA Monday. Well, we'll be here on Monday. But we physically won't oh, be yeah. here. Oh, yeah. We have VVG. So we will have a bonus episode for you guys. Oh, can I say that? Dropping on October. Yeah. VVG will be joining us on the podcast. It was a great interview with him. We can't wait for you guys to hear it and mm. watch it on YouTube. I loved yeah. it, man. YouTube will still YouTube. be Wednesday. Monday will still be the audio. So all you subscribe, get that treat, and tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, other than that, that's the only updates I got for us right now. Um, we might be off for December. This depends on how November goes. But um, other than that, man, how is everybody doing? doing how are good. you guys? Good, you man. You guys all right? Feeling good. Got the bourbon in me. Straight up to the shout out to the bourbon. Just had a fourth and a sip of eight. Dang, bro. I believe you, too. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Just I like your here. new uh, uh, profile picture, man. Oh, thanks, I, you man. Gotta, you got to have more light, though. Is yeah, that a professional pick? It was a nice picture, but just more light with it, like, really. But we're going to do a photo shoot here soon. Right, right. We're going to come up with a thing. We're going to try to start 2023 off with some new images of us, man. We ain't tell you. dope. I want to do a classroom. Image, I'm going to do a. I like uh, classroom idea. I'm going to try to do a roast me set later on. Who you going to roast? Myself. Oh. You know, I'm going to take that little commercial I did and put a caption this on it. Best oh. caption. Oh. Really I like the, the commercial, too, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the commercial. You remember oh, that? Yeah. I came out with so much, like, flair. Yeah, like, nigga thought he was about to say something. Dude. Hold up. I need a script. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got I'm going to keep it on solid, I though. need a script. I got a few content pieces coming out while we gone. Yo. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, when we come back, I'm going to I'm trying fire. to uh, oh. hit the L, bro. Pass it to me. I mean, you going up there to the city of L's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, you should be able to get you one. Um, <laughs> so, what I... What I found out is in Amsterdam, weed is illegal. What? Yes. What? But coffee shop serve has dispensaries. They choose not to enforce the law on weed smokers, but they advise you to keep it at the coffee shop. Don't bring it out the coffee shop. Uh -huh. Is it kind of like, um, like legal on a city level, but illegal on a federal level? From what I'm, from what I read. It is illegal. It is not legal. But they don't enforce the law. So it's like jaywalking. Ah, so I
as far as walking down the street, they say do that at your own risk. Gotcha. You feel what I'm saying? Gotcha. So Gucci. buy some coochie at your own risk. Uh, now that I haven't dabbled in yet, but I probably know everything there is to know by the time we leave. Um, <laughs> it's not something I'm really interested in, but I would definitely get some info. Uh, but yeah, that's that on that. And they have two type of coffee shops. Mm. So that's another thing you gotta know. If you're looking for real coffee, and you don't want no buzz with your coffee, you gotta find cafe something. But if you want a buzz with your coffee, you go just go to a coffee shop. Oh yeah. So yeah. Uh, other than that, man, let's well, not play around, man. Let's get straight to it. Everybody's good. Everybody doing. D, how you doing? You never I'm good. Sp- okay, cool, cool. Um, that was very demanding. No. <laughs> no, I'm good, I'm good. Keep right to the All right. <laughs> no. so talk to the guys at the mall. Nah. Excuse me, excuse me, young lady. Can I talk to you? Real I don't want to queen. Demar- um, no, you know but I do. How are you doing? Like the guys that keep trying to clean my shoes. Like oh, bro, I'm not even wearing sneakers. sneakers. Wild, yo. I'm like, bro, I already got this shit. This shit lasts forever. I was Coming wearing flat. Oh, the spray? You the cleaner. You bought it? The $35? I bought it like eight years ago. I still got the shit. Oh, nigga, I need Damn. to borrow something. <laughs> 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 now, that shit be working, but it's just like, come on, bro. How fast can you get a pair get a of threes hustle. clean, my G? Who, me? Yeah, by Sunday? Yeah, I can do that. How much you charge it? <laughs> we talk about it off okay, camera. Okay, we talk about it. Okay. <laughs> all right, I'll give you good price. Price. All right, let's go and everybody start off with politics. Like, let's start all off right, man. Shout out to uh, uh, everybody's first. second favorite right. president, Joe Biden, out here in these streets. Um, so you know we had the midterm elections coming up, and Republicans seem like they're gonna take over Congress. Mm. Uh, Biden pledged in a speech recently to veto any bill that would come that bans abortion that comes from the Republican Congress. Man. So it looks like he's preparing himself for take a L this this uh, fall at the election at, with the elections coming up, mm. and he's like, "Yo, if y'all even try that abortion shit, I'm vetoing it." Mm. Oh damn! Right, twenty twenty four gonna be an interesting year. Yeah. Oh for sure, that's gonna be a crazy because year. the economy is fucked up, mm-hmm. and anytime the economy is fucked up, there's only one person that could bail you out. It's a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. But Obama did bail us out of one, so I give him that. But uh, George Bush got us out the other one. But go ahead. And got us right back in one. But go ahead. All right. Now, Joe Biden is getting a little bit of heat. So when Trump was uh, president, people were getting on him for going to Mar-a-Lago all the time, playing golf and shit. Uh, So he spent a total of 135 days at Mar-a-Lago during his four-year term. Uh, Now, Biden has already passed that and has spent 174 days at his Delaware residents why he's been president so a lot of people are giving him heat like how was y'all getting on Trump for not being at work but Biden ain't been at work either that nigga is old <laughs> it seemed like Biden be at work every fucking week always that, on TV well he's he in Delaware so which is right close to DC so maybe it's quicker oh it's a, uh, yeah it's yeah, two three hours Trump going yes. down to Florida it's quick that nigga old as hell bro he, he, I'm pretty sure he got hella sick days that, oh, that came nigga with definitely the going to Delaware at three o'clock and he the president, so you get the easy pass all the way through to Delaware. That's Definitely. an hour drive. Probably, and I'm pretty sure they're not. I think the big another one of the big issues was Trump was using the Air Force One. Yeah, Biden probably driving. Yeah, so there's a there's a difference on the environment and fuel costs and all the other good shit. Like, come on, whatever. Yeah, nah. And Trump down there playing golf. Biden probably working from his home office. He'll be like, all right, I got to get out of here. You smell <laughs> like Trump in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Head out here to Delaware. I'm out. Uh, All right now, man. This shit kind of pissing me off with this money shit. Movie star Anna Mae Wong will be the first Asian American featuring on U.S. currency. Where the Tubman's at, man? They were supposed to be out last year. Two years years ago. They don't want to put no niggas on the Right, man. man. Y'all better take Andrew Jackson. I heard he was a killer. So I heard he's limited edition to celebrate women's rights. Ah, fuck it. It's still put Tupman on that limited edition. They then. say Tupman. That's the second they time. They say Tupman 2025, right? <laughs> yeah, Asians yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. Asians, Asians is killing, killing us, us bro. Jews is killing us. But I, get uh, to I ain't been not say nothing about the Jewish person. You know, really look at this. Jewish. Look at this. <laughs> Correct him quick. You <laughs> better not. Don't do it. Like you never know when the opportunity gonna come. Jews <laughs> are luckily. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be on episode 350 apologizing <laughs> i'm sorry that my comments hurt a certain community i didn't mean it hey, i'm gonna tell you right now i'm not gonna apologize oh see you ain't gonna apologize boy they're gonna tear your pockets up <laughs> they're gonna wait for you to make it and be I'm like landon what's I- that shit you said <laughs> before i apologize they have to come sit with me and tell me why i'm wrong on my show with the cameras on 
and that's going out. Oh, they coming that's out. That's going out too. Oh, they're like going to the sit down with Nick you. Same thing Nick Cannon did, mine is the apology. Hey, come <laughs> sit with me and tell me how I was wrong. They're going to halakalam the hell out your ass. Halakalakalam, uh, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> you canceled too for that one. So you're going to be up here apologizing too. you right. I'm sorry that my joke yeah, offended the certain community. My uh, bad. Uh, I'm just talking about y'all getting that, nigga. James not gonna, me. No, James Contrast is obligated not to apologize. <laughs> They have to come up here and tell me why my joke, why we can't make nigga, no jokes Nigga, I'm y'all. sorry, nigga. Don't fuck my shit up. I'm but, sorry. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, instead of saying what you doing, men can try these. Now, I guess this was a Twitter thread, right? Oh, wow. instead of with the, the women say WYD all the time, too, now. Now, I want to get into some context here. Um, let's use our woman resident speaking for all the women of America, white, black, Latino, Asian, Native, Indigenous, Mixed, all of that, it's Deidre. Deidre, how's it going? Who the fuck is speaking for them? <laughs> <laughs> Woman King. Woman King. They hold it. <laughs> Speak for all the women in America. That's fucking what bourbon. Is, Nasty as hell. That's just stronger than the mother. This nigga has no taste buds. Anyway, um, it's good bourbon. Which one did you get? <laughs> That's the buffalo. Buffalo. Yeah. Uh, all right, now you. Yeah. Great white buffalo. <laughs> what are we? What is the context of what are you doing? Now, when men are sending the "What are you doing?" text, what is the time of day, and <laughs> and um, like why is that not okay? Girls be on ballots, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You don't want What's our time doing? <laughs> Amongst the window, we don't want a ballot, but it's usually late at night or I don't know, just a random time where it's what you doing. It's called, I want to fuck. You know what it is. <laughs> how how else would you like a conversation start? Would you you would just you want do? niggas to jump right into the conversation? Uh, so, yeah, I was down at the store today. <laughs> no, you ain't got to jump into a conversation, but, I mean, lead to have a conversation. Okay, so what is the relationship of the WID guy? Is it y'all got a rapport? No, or it's typically somebody new. that either, it could be one of two things. Okay. It could be somebody that's really just checking in, saying, hey, I don't have much time, but what you up to? Like, you know, she's thinking about you, what you doing? Okay. I've gotten that. That's cool. It's usually led with just thinking about you, busy day, what you doing? I'm cool with that. Okay. It's the motherfuckers that hit you up late at night that you don't really have a relationship with. They probably not even somebody you fucking. They just trying to see if they can potentially create an opportunity for that themselves. was an accident oh. when i hit you up with that the other night wow. <laughs> like okay. it's it's just wow, makes no guys. sense okay so so is this the wyd they're talking about in this thread the late night one i mean the wyd it, honestly the wyd only you, the yep. wyd only bothers females when it comes from a, a motherfucker we don't like uh, oh, if okay. I don't fuck with you and i don't like you don't hit me with the Coming wyd because i'm reading through these and none of these work for getting pussy because that's the thing. <laughs> if men haven't learned anything else, if with all these men versus well, women conversations, about, they don't work for getting Hold pussy up, in the moment. Listen, Listen, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. If women, if men have not learned anything else, you get pussy when you're not trying so hard. Stop mm. trying to get pussy. Don't enter a conversation like how I'm gonna get this, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna say. Da, da, da. Just try. have a fucking conversation. What if you horny though? Yeah, like what you all doing? All your blood and your dick. Yeah, we can't think. <laughs> <laughs> But you come you out better right now? building a rapport so when the moment hits when you are horny, you don't have oh, to do as much. You. So you just can't leave with... Li- <laughs> yeah, you just <laughs> leave with shit I'm horny. What you doing? This dick <laughs> hard. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I Something don't like, involve this dick. I feel now, like what shit. you're doing is like credible. Like, I feel like... To a nigga that ain't trying to do nothing else but fuck. But if she don't like you, yo, what you're doing is annoying. And it's... Hey, I... So, the... This y- you says, miss hundred percent of the shots you don't take. This hey, you ever had a hard dick? That shit sucks. I think okay. women get hard. Y'all <laughs> I don't get know, hard, man. Right? Women coochies sound like they complex. Like they say it's throbbing. So I feel like, I feel like the equivalent. Like when your dick hard and they shit throbbing, it's the same feeling. Nah, they shit's throbbing intervals. That right. shit be throbbing for about three minutes, uh-huh. and then it's go back to regular. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you, you know how sometimes, like, if a woman got on some lingerie, <laughs> your, your thing get hard. What disclaimer. is it for women? Disclaimer. If a man walk through the door, what he got to be wearing to get the disclaimer. coochie throbbing? We don't know what women's bodies do. Disclaimer. Like, ooh, he we walked through the know. door with a dad hat on. Girl, my coochie was throbbing. <laughs> Bro, I heard girls like rough shit. Like, they like when your face look rough. What? That nigga ain't shaved in eight days. 
is my coochie yeah, with thongs, bro. Came through looking homeless. I've heard that. <laughs> I've heard that. They said he don't like pretty shit. Nigga had oil stains on his pants, girl. My coochie was throbbing. He had black fingernails. Got there. He been working hard in the field. Now that's disgusting. Nigga's hands smell like garlic. Ew. Garlic. Nigga been cooking. Nigga been fighting vampires all day. My coochie was throbbing. Only a nerd. Only a nerd. That was a good one. That was a good one. Nigga working the night shift, boy. So, so so this post says, men, instead of the usual WID ten times a day, there are some questions you can ask. Like what? Let's let's get into the ten times a day WID guy. Who is this guy? The guy you just <laughs> met? I'm gonna go over these. That bro. nigga I, wear I, a fake Louis Vuitton. <laughs> I'm gonna go over these. The WID guy is the guy that's not applying pressure consistently. He's going to waste your time. Focus uh, on a man that wants to have a conversation when his dick is not hard and when his see, dick is hard. Because when his dick is hard, you'll have no problem taking care of him. Because mm. he's willing to have a conversation outside of that. All right, well, I fellas, you ever had a conversation okay. with a hard dick? It'd just be like, huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. That's what I said. Yes. The, ice, the ice in the, in the freezer. Shit. Uh, are you eating it with the O for real? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them they crazy, crazy for that shit. one. Yeah. That shit crazy. Oh, yeah? For Damn. real. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. So you say your sister cousin did that. Damn. Damn. You be trying to stay yeah. focused? Like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and who said that again? Oh. Damn. Damn. Shit. shit. What time is shit. it? <laughs> 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 oh, all right, man. Keep asking, this is the third time you don't ask Tell what us, time it is. Come over here. Here's a, few convers- so far away? Here's a few conversation starters provided by women so now you can hit them and quit them with a little intellect. All right, here we go. Women always <laughs> giving away their secrets online. <laughs> right. And y'all niggas still don't balance. use them. <laughs> so instead of saying what you're doing, you can hit them up with something philosophical. Do you believe in it heaven or hell? It don't have to be philosophical. No, that's one of my lines. Do you right. believe in heaven or hell? Believe in Watch this nigga pick out a bunch of shit that sound like it's overcomplicated. No, it's not. There are some more simple that's questions. That's one of my lines right Do you there. believe in heaven or oh, hell? Can, oh, we uh, both going to hell. I'm trying to fuck. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, you can hit him with uh, three words that best describe you, babe. Damn, that's one of my babe. lines, too. All right, all right. Um, Horny, irritated. I need what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe in true love? That ain't one of my lines. <laughs> Does your life have meaning? That ain't one of I my like lines that. either. That's actually. I don't cool. fuck with none of these. What's your dream job? Okay, I use that. What's your dream job? What, I mean, you going, <laughs> Let me know. You so gonna ask it three times. What's your dream job? Uh, so the nigga dick hard as hell at the crib. He drunk off the henny. What's your dream job? <laughs> Hopefully a blow <laughs> job. All right. Anyway, that was hey, right. Fun. Shout out to that one. Good one. <laughs> um. She gonna hit you with a hell of a goddamn. Uh-huh. So, well, you know, I always wanted to be a traveling nurse, but then when oh I went over God. to Africa, <laughs> I'm already interested. Man, I call you back. <laughs> now I got interested in culinary skills, so now I want to be a a, a, a five star chef. Yeah, so I'm, about so go, how, I'm about to go beat so, this one out. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. I appreciate you. I appreciate hold you. Hold on, hold on, five star chef. Um, <laughs> shit, would you cook naked though? <laughs> yeah, that's a nigga that don't give up. Yeah, 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 he yeah, ain't yeah, giving I'm up. Awesome. He like you. Uh, you ever cook butt booty naked? Yeah, yeah. He got, he got. Uh, uh, All right, nigga, hit you with. I got some ingredients a, over here. Oh Why don't you come God. through and it make me something? It could be a plethora of things. <laughs> oh my goodness. How do you handle frustration? Now that is the perfect. That's a, good that's one. a great question. question. Now you that's need to ask everybody that in conversation when your dick not hard. But if you try to set a move, but she said. Instead of what you're doing 10 times a day, this is things But I'm connect. saying there are ways to lead to a to a vibe, to lead to a, a mood, to do whatever. You have to talk. Like, just talk. Well, how do you handle frustration? Your baby daddy left yet? <laughs> 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 that is the key of some frustrations. <laughs> no, how do you handle Do you beat off? Do you rub one out? Bro, you oh, got to, man. Yeah, if I got to sit here and... and Come up with a hundred different ways just to say but what you're doing. But listen to how it's a problem for y'all to talk to the females, but y'all want them to know because, everything about y'all. y'all. What the fuck are you doing? That's all we <laughs> want to know. <laughs> Damn. Damn. What you up to? What you, what you want to do? Honestly, if why? <laughs> why? You know why? Because I was thinking about you. Damn it. Exactly. Oh, go ahead, John. Why now, you gotta make something why, on it? Like I'm a woman now. My coochie. Why? Is no, it's not. Think about me. You, you easy as fuck. Why? Why you thinking about me? Duh. Because I missed you. 
Ooh. Oh, you're bored? So I'm something to fill in time? No. Nope. No, Go he ahead. said, he said I, I, I missed that. Sh- I smelled some Chanel number five when I got off the subway That's and it crazy. made me think about you. I don't even wear that, but all right. Oh, but now nah, you do okay, wear that. You do wear no, that. I don't. You do wear that. That's how I do that. <laughs> don't do that. What's but wrong? It, okay, you're right. If I do, yeah, that's yeah. sweet. Uh huh. That's crazy. You cool. know my you know my scent. Uh huh. Yeah, cool. well, it sounds like you don't want to talk, so I'll talk to you later. But. <laughs> yeah, and I'm about to you, WYD number two. Yeah, you right. about to, you over here, goddamn Trump and everything I say. Why I might do y'all well act one like out. y'all don't know what the WYD means? Because hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody got feedback. Um, it could be, because if I hit you with the WYD, you but know you're what's not up. listening to what I just said. We don't give a fuck if we like you. We'll accept a WID. Oh, okay. Right. But nine times, out of, so ten, nine times out of ten, a WID is coming from a fuckhead nigga that we don't like, that we don't want to talk to, that don't call during the day. He only called when the sun go down. I don't want to talk to you. I don't talk but to you during the day. I want to talk to you now. Talking At least you responded. To. Who yeah. is she talking? She's talking to somebody that she mm-hmm. we want we want <laughs> yeah. these questions from men that we're interested in. We want okay. these questions from men that we're dating. I seen this clip from Jess Hilarious and a bunch of women, and they were running around. They was talking about men not being able to carry conversations. So, so you're talking about the B Simone? So is, yeah. So is is this stemming from that? Is these conversation starters suggestions for men who struggle with having conversations? What do they talk about? I mean, yeah, it's possible because some of these don't have to be. They're not complex. Like I know he read some off, but one of them is you know if you had only three wishes, what would they be? That Nigga. sparks a conversation. Johnny Hill flash. If I had three wishes. No, uh-huh. see. You know, I was thought you was gonna go into one wish, but never mind. Oh, newsflash! I should have. I've been in a relationship three years. I still have troubles with uh, starting conversations and holding them. What you doing? But and hold them. Hold on, tell me, tell me, tell me. I'm, I'm gonna tell be real. You walk up in the crib, you still I, mad about that shit I, from I, earlier? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but talking about when y'all met, did you have that problem? No, we okay. actually used to talk all the time. So you the- gave, you cared about what she thought. She cared about what you thought. You could ask, "What's your fa- give me a favorite song lyric?" But we don't, we don't did that shit. <laughs> I got too many. It, okay, well let's 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 go. Let's deep dive into top three. Mm. Y'all not finna deep dive. It's like that's the thing. You can have a conversation. It's it's you wanna it's talk meant to. Shit. You wanna it's, run your mouth? It's not like you I want some gases out your motherfucking house. All right, y'all, <laughs> <laughs> y'all doing too much. It's not like the fact I can't have a conversation because we do. But I'm just saying sometimes, you know, the air well, just let, get a little stale. Let's and go. Maybe away I might be focused on something else, and I, I can't wait. hold the conversation at the time. When you try, maybe to I'm just not interested. I don't want to use James as the example because, yeah, because obviously he was able to hold a conversation at some point. Yes. So I just well, some I get woman, tired. I mean, maybe it's the thing that they don't like you, and maybe they not re- like you might think they not receptive. Not easy. Maybe they just don't. I'm like gonna tell you, you. And a, let me say, a fact though, while this was di- directed towards done. men, there are women that cannot hold conversations. Oh so I think there God, are some. Yes. I yeah. think there are some good pointers. <laughs> Or good questions that would help the like, women. Like, you know, like, I was like... If you sing to me like, like that, I'm real, going to immediately cut you off. Like, I was I, like, I'm going to keep real, it real, like, though. I, 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 I just want to go catch the vibes. Like, you know the vibes? And I'm like, I don't even know what a vibe is, young lady. <laughs> vibe your ass up out my motherfucking face. <laughs> I feel oh, you. I just want to fuck. Like, and on the contrary, great. I don't like a girl that can't have a, hold a conversation. At no. some point in time, I would like to have... An in-depth conversation. What you want to talk about? But it just it just be in certain times. You got to catch me on that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm iffy with it. I'm sorry. I can't help. It. Yeah, sometimes I talk about somewhere? shit girls don't care about, and I catch myself. Like so I start talking just... about steak cuts of steak that I like. Wow. Really? And they be like, Oh, okay, really? It cuts of steak. And I'm like, All right, let me. I got to catch myself. I'm like, Well, you know, the ribeye comes from the the Japanese wagyu. They uh, <laughs> they nigga, they, you know too much about nothing. Are you nigga. educated on meat like that for real? A, I, I think that I like to think I know a little bit about steak. Oh, so he is a steak eater. Yeah. You need to let my man cook for you. What were you about to ask? Uh, I, I was going to say, do you guys ever just take a moment to, like, walk somewhere where it's just y'all two? Y'all just walk in silence? Y'all don't yeah. say nothing to I mean, I can do that. Yeah, of course. I don't do it often, but So I you can. don't try to have a conversation at nothing? Just Yeah. Oh, we just walk in silence? Yeah, that's kind of He's weird. Walk. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, for that real? happens sometimes. I think that the whole purpose, so if you take a walk, Oh yeah, you're right. He did. You kind of—that's the perfect opportunity. It's like stuff like that. Just have a conversation. But see, how many girls are you asking what you're doing, inclined to take a walk with you somewhere? Or what you gonna say? Hey, take a walk with me. Real Honestly, quick. if Just you hit, say what if you doing. hit a girl up with what you're doing, and it's not on some I'm trying to fuck, 
you have you probably will get a better response than you think. Mm. I just wanted to see what you was up to. I was hoping maybe come scoop you or we could well, just go take a walk. A I don't something. think anybody Girl, here. Love can, to scoop. I think I think I don't think anybody like, here can I'll speak for what you're doing, nowhere. guy. Because I really don't know what what you're doing ten times a day results into. But for niggas who can't carry on a conversation, for one, when I watched that clip from Neil, I, I one thing I took away from it was, and let me paraphrase the clip for the listeners. They were just basically. T- given their gripes about being single dating and being able to find a guy who can carry on a conversation. They feel like most guys don't have conversation. They want to text you to death. It's not really much. Da, 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 da. All right. Anyway. So these women are successful women. I feel like they swim in a different pool and I feel like the guys that they are shopping for may not talk to them much because these are busier guys. They don't have time. They're more so what you're doing because they're trying to get straight to the point. So I felt like their comments was coming from a place of privilege. Now, I'm pretty sure there was some regular women that could relate to, relate with this. But I can't relate with those women because I don't know any men that don't know how to have a conversation. So, so I don't, then you're speaking from a biased side. There are a bunch of men who will, we what, can't, you, what you doing to death? What, what, what is a bunch, though? <laughs> now, women be white. Like, out, 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 out of 10, I would say you probably can come across five or six. That, that In the morning... Hey, what you doing? So that's in the some, afternoon. What you doing? That's some. Can we at night? A bunch. What you doing? Can we just agree that what you're doing is actually a conversation starter? It is. Yeah. What if happens she when fuck you re- with you? What, what happens when she you respond to what you doing? But see, that's the problem. But why not just tell the man, "Hey, I Again, ain't feeling you I'm like this. Stop texting me." Again, I'm only responding if I fuck with you. If I don't fuck with you, I'm not answering you. So the problem oh. is not what you're doing. It's who, is who is coming it's from. Who it's coming the messenger. It's who is coming yeah, exactly. from. Exactly. So, and a lot of times... So it, take the post down and but, say, nigga, I don't fuck with you, so text me what you But that's not always the case exactly. because going back to the conversation we had previously, there are a lot of men who have a chance. They just got to tweak some shit. So it's some uh, men out here that we like, that we may like, but it's like, damn, he really ain't, pl- oh, so he ain't applying no pressure. All he doing is what you doing. So, 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 so basically, this is what it is, right? So she know a bunch of lame niggas that can have a conversation, but she don't like them niggas. She like this nigga who can't have a conversation. So when he texts what you doing... That's not what I said. She, hold on. I'm breaking it down. Yo story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when he texts what you doing, she's responding, but it's not. No, it's nothing else. You don't respond. You okay. should You should keep the same energy. That you should real. not be responding to what okay, you're doing. Okay, text. but most women are responding to what you're doing because this nigga look like Michael Ely. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, but the nigga name Lil Daryl. Can we find My somebody name else? Daryl. Just to I, get I'm out of all the people. math equations, I go find a girl that like what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Where are the girls that like right. what you're doing? All right, well, well, <laughs> and bitch, I know somebody to, who like to it. our majority male audience who are single. Um, there's a post out there on Spiritual Word, bunch of conversation stars. Now these were great, great conversation stars. So before we leave, I will say these some of these were good topic conversation stars. What's your perception of God? One thing you could change about yourself. What advice would you give your younger self? If you had three wishes, what would they be? All of these are great conversation starters. I got a pretty so good one. So this is my I thing. Use. Do you just blast out with one of those? No. So in mid conversation, I would hit you with me like, too. Me like, too. Like I would. But how are you one going to initiate this conversation? What you doing? Thank you. So, God damn. Fellas, what you doing? <laughs> Until you find the one that responds to what you're you doing. And the podcast that Young Man is speaking to else. is No For Sure. So, so shout out to the No For so Sure crazy. podcast. Who is No For Sure? Would be Simone and oh. uh, uh, that, that one that just goes on. The one the that you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, okay. What I look like saying, what's your perception of God? I and I ain't saying nothing I else I wasn't even ready for that, but uh, <laughs> I got my one that I use all the time, but I use it at parties. What you got? It's the um, cause I just be trying to start use the party. You week. heard it before. I say it all the time. It's uh, would you rather meet your great great grandparents or your great great grandkids? That's weird. Nah, I ain't heard this that's one, weird, that's nigga. That's and that, that ain't probably weird. people be feeling it though. They be like, I don't know. I might go back in past and meet my great great. So what I and that'll work on a on a white chick. Uh, that'll but, work on black people, bro. But Rikisha over here ain't going for it. I don't know who my <laughs> great great granddaddy is, nigga. I don't even know my daddy, and I'm adopted anyway. Um, <laughs> All right, man. Let's like Michael B. Jordan. Like that ruin, nigga. God damn. Nah, that should be working though. Get the conversation started. <laughs> nah, man. it does. It does. He got some. I ain't never stars. did that. Ah uh, man, I'm coming over your crib next time. Top I'm starting new- this shit with all the potheads. Oh wow. Top. Oh, dude, that shit gonna get. Nah, deep. I'm already Top know what I'm asking the potheads. The pothead question that I ask is, can you daydream at night? <laughs> they were like, oh shit, can you? 
Because it's like a night dream, though. <laughs> then it's a regular dream. That's something else. Johnny, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> can you daydream at night? Right, man, How people be feeling that shit? They're like, hold up, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, man. <laughs> All right, man. This is we starting in top news stories, man. So I see there was a viral video of some daycare employees. These employees put on scream masks from the movie Scream, and they decided to scare these young children. Oh, that I they bet were you this was a delight. <laughs> caring for So they was running around with the scream masks on, screaming at them, giving them their snacks, and screaming at them. And Eat some snacks. <laughs> 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 Um, it's funny in well, theory. been suing like a motherfucker. <laughs> but yes, it's fucked up. So four employees have been charged with the felony counts of child Damn, abuse. Damn, felony? A, yes, felony counts of child abuse. Whoa. One with misdemeanor. If you see this video, it's bad because you know how children, you know how shit be new to children. Like, you know, like you see, you see the first time something really rattles your kid and it's something simple to you, but you can see that shit really fucked your kid up and you got to pick the kid up and you're like, baby, it's just a... It's a whatever. So yeah. those are the moments that they kind of created, and it's fucked up because you're a grown ass person right. with a scary ass mask off. I think people often forget, like kids are new to this whole world. Everything, every day is new to them. We we thirty something years old. Shit, a lot of shit ain't new to us, but to Damn. them, everything is new. Yeah. Everything is new. I don't so, know why uh, they didn't get the hint to like stop. Why? Yeah, because yeah. it's like it's it, they really did the shit that and they mean. had a video because they was like, oh, ha ha, this is gonna be funny. We're gonna share. We're gonna share with the parents. You just caused trauma, right? To some kids. And you got the video. You sent me that video of that kid. <laughs> that had the, <laughs> <laughs> you sent me the video of the kid that had the filter on. Right. And that shit was funny, but I used to do that shit to my daughter, and I used to laugh, but she used to be scared as hell. Bro, that shit was so, hilarious. <laughs> and that's what I related to. Like, we play with our kids like yeah. that sometimes, but, like, being a parent, you'll see, like, oh, she really scared. Like, come here, baby. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's like, damn, I, I took I used to it, put the little mustache filter on her, and she'd be like... <laughs> you know, I thought funny as hell. Yeah. Bruh, I'm going to be real with you. But see, these, these daycare workers, like, don't play with my kid like that. I'll do it at home. Because I would do that. I'm going to prank the shit out. <laughs> my sorry. daughter's brother uh, would wear his uh, Michael Myers. Oh, this shit looks scary. His Michael Myers mask and scare, and scare my daughter. Hold on. This lady looks scary. It's close. He ain't need a mask. Wow. So... They just running around scaring these kids. See you. And that's the mom. That, but that's what oh, was she going like on. She looked like she dropped the lawsuit on. Oh yeah, she she said yes most times. I'm about to own this fucking daycare. It day really care. wasn't even that scary though. Now I will say, I think there it could have derived Don't do that from. Shit to my kid. There was a oh, recent oh. video um, of a. It looks like a daycare, but it's based over in Japan, Asia. Oh, I saw that one. And it's like they dress up as this ugly witch type figure, but it's to teach the kids not to accept shit from strangers. So it's like this, you have other teachers that are in the room and you have sit all the kids around and you have this little ugly thing walking around and trying to give candy. Oh, and if the kids that. take yeah, the candy, yeah. then, you know, they, 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 take they, the the, they put the bag and then take the kid outside with another teacher and they come back in and try to do it to other kids. And you saw all the kids start learning, like, no, nah, I don't want no candy, I'm good. Yeah, and then yeah. you'll have some kids like, shit, I'll take the candy and they realize, oh shit, I'm not supposed to take this candy because I'm going to get snatched. So it's, there was a lesson there, and it wasn't scaring them half to death. They were just taking it too fucking far. They, like, yeah, they yeah. took that shit too far. Too Fuck far. The witches over there, they got the monkeys be taking them kids. Yeah. I don't know if y'all oh, seen oh, that you shit. talking about like close to India. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. monkeys be snatching Bruh, kids. I up. seen that monkey ride up on that little motorbike. Oh, yeah, took that kid. <laughs> and snatched that baby. That like, mm, that nigga had a hit out on that baby. Family get that guy. little motorcycle, bro. <laughs> Family guy be on to something with the angry monkey. What the fuck? Those monkeys don't be All playing right. over there, bro, in Thailand now, and also shit. Also in the news, man, Uber Eats announced that they will be delivering marijuana in Toronto. Now, Toronto, they're partnering with this website called Leafly. I use Leafly a lot. Leafly is pa uh, partnering with over 200 cannabis brands, dispensaries that, that serve, uh, that, that uh, kind of, they're the middleman for the dispensary. So if you on Leafly, if if you say, yo, I got whatever, I got that killer something-something strand, 
I could type it in Leafly. I can get the deets on the strand and all the local dispensaries that sell this particular strand. They got that oh. Thraxton Heart the bridge on there. No. That <laughs> shit was actually pretty good. Um, I hit that shit. I said, oh. I don't know if we can say that live on air. <laughs> oh. I was going to say, I don't yeah, know, need, I don't know if you should oh. be sharing Let's that. Let's blur that out. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Uh, 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 Timestamp. I got it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm going to try. Oh. That's what you got right now? Oh. Uh, no, that was oh, a three five. Oh, that nigga rolled the whole. Oh, anyway, he rolled a three five and went to work on like, slice. I did not. He rolled the whole three five. Yeah, you rolled the whole three five. Side note: I've been watching this show five. on Hulu. That shit funny as hell. It's called The Last Man on Earth. It's uh, about I heard of it. that shit funny as hell, man. It's about these like I guess some virus came and a lot of people died. And there's this guy. He thinks he's the last man on Earth, but it, like slowly but surely, people start moving into his town. I'm about to watch that. That shit, shit funny as hell, man. I, I'm watching Mar- <laughs> Married with Children every night before bed. So. Shout out to my nigga Al Bundy. I wanted to be Al Bundy so bad when I sold shoes. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga, the goat shoe, shoe salesman, goat. Can I I've go back in time real quick? Say uh-huh. <laughs> it's like when you sold shoes, it was a sex symbol because you had like six pack abs with a V cut. Oh yeah, I was different <laughs> back then. I was different back then. <laughs> you were not Al Bundy. You were more like Martin Payne. <laughs> I forgot Martin no sold shoes. Yeah. With no Gina. Uh, but yeah, all right. Um, but yeah, so they're partnering with them. They will be delivering marijuana. Be careful though. Make sure you weigh your shit when you get your shit. Um, Uber drivers got sticky hands. Mm. All right, uh, Circle K Gas Station is also in marijuana, man. They're teaming up with Green Thumb in Florida. Mm-hmm. Green Thumb is also another company that owns dispensaries, and they will pr- be producing this marijuana out of Florida. They're doing 10 pilot gas stations, Circle K. Is legal in Florida? Yes, medicinally it is legal. Oh, okay. They're doing 10 pilot Circle K locations, and they will have where you can come get your gas, and you can get you some gummies, or you get you a vape, or you can get you some flowers, in Florida, um, they also will be growing this marijuana in Florida. You have a question, sir? Let me get 10 on four, <laughs> some Bubba Kush, <laughs> and a pack of Duchess. Yeah. All right. How old that pizza? <laughs> 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 when y'all put that pizza and chicken wings out? Niggas about to be fucked up. Uh, do you want a 3-5, a a half? Let me get they a 3-5. They buying five. weed, they buying blue hey, chews, sir, sir, hot leave, dogs. leave, leave now. <laughs> it's your third time in the store. <laughs> <laughs> She's stealing. Sixty-five ninety-nine, sir. Whoa! <laughs> I got fifty dollars. <laughs> How you? Wait a minute. Sixty-five ninety-nine. Get out my store. All right, man. I was just yes. trying to see what How your you temperature was. How you negotiating with gas? <laughs> Here you go, my boy. You have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, hey, boy. I got that vibe, man. That shit in there. That Big shit in there. Big got guy. the hella curl. <laughs> hey, the nigga outside. <laughs> The nigga outside, he's gonna be mad as hell because there's always a nigga outside of a gas station That's selling trapping. Uh, yeah, always trapping. Or asking for something. Can hey, my ju- man, hey, my man. Can we just agree that street level weed ain't on on par with dispensary weed? Definitely not. <laughs> I don't you know. can't even find you no know, street level weed or in the dispensary. Do you do it do anybody buy street level weed anymore? <laughs> yeah, like that nigga is struggling. If he out here trying to sell I you mean, weed in front of a gas station. I got a guy. I got that herb, bro. I got that herb, bro. I'm good. He I might be a little expensive. At this point, everybody uh-huh. got a guy that they go to. Like, oh, I bought st- some weed from a random guy at the 7-Eleven. Well, he said, I my, from out my of guy town. got a business. And I, I can't what, really disclose that. But I wonder which nigga going to start the dispensary first. It's going to be one of these niggas. It nah, costs money to start a dispensary. It does. Nah, yeah. this niggas that got hood dispensaries out here. I, I definitely remember that nigga that had a vending machine. Oh, did you go? I'm definitely oh. cash apping you to get my shit when you go. Oh, to we about to go to VA and uh, load up. Go Ooh, to Danville. That I should go to VA. Oh, yeah, we should. We should take. Decent. I mean, January first, I think it's legal. You can start crossing the border. Mm. Mm. And they, they got mountains. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh wow. Whole thing out there. Danville, probably the closest Virginia. Somebody city. sold me on mushrooms this week. What's the closest place that's legalized? From right Florida? now, uh, DC, I think. DC. Yeah, DC. Yo, yeah. DC, but Virginia weed, about to be legal. DC January don't 1st. have dispensaries though. Like they got weed spots. Like it's that ain't a dispensary. You know how you've been to the, you've been to a dispensary. Mm-hmm. No, they got the weed spot. Yeah. It's like coming to my house to buy your weed, but it's uh, legal. I bet South Carolina will be yeah. legal before North Carolina. Oh, Probably so. Hmm? Mm, I, don't I mean, that. shit. Red state? Full frontal uh, pornography, fireworks. That's Georgia. 
South I thought Carolina, South Carolina had nah, full South frontal Carolina too. Got, they can't uh, take their panties off. They got fireworks oh. in South Carolina. They can take their panties off in South Carolina. Oh, I don't know. They can do it in Greensboro. You get full naked in Greensboro. They they but they can't have no liquor license. They can't have no liquor. Yeah, you oh, get butt so naked, cool. but you can't oh, have you no snitching. liquor license. Oh, you snitching? Oh, that's you can bring your own liquor. All right, let's take it to Massachusetts. In Massachusetts, it's, woman, le- it's legal in Massachusetts. <laughs> in Massachusetts, a woman was arrested. For releasing bees on officers who came. Who is this? To this candy man? <laughs> <laughs> right. Came to mind. <laughs> Release some bees. Uh-huh. Yo, you stupid for that one. <laughs> <laughs> candy man, candy man, candy man. Yeah, that nigga candy man was oh, out here killing them white people, ginger fine his hood. <laughs> I was like, they got some fucking nerve, man. Everything hey, got to make a my statement. Nigga candy man. <laughs> Everything got to make a statement. You keeping it real. You keeping it street. That nigga was killing all the ginger fires. That nigga see a black person, you good. Yeah. So she white, white person. man moving into my grandmother's house. You about to die from bee stings. So she, uh, she had a beekeeper suit. <laughs> <laughs> They're never tracing back to candy man. <laughs> <laughs> candy man, candy man, candy man. Y'all are silly. Let me glad <laughs> the lights ain't out. Candy man. No, so she had a beekeeper suit when they came. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch guilty. How the hell you got the clothes on, bitch? Right. She knew what she was about to do. We're she obviously did. looking for a beekeeper. You fit uh-huh. the description. So she had a bee. She had a bee nest at the door. And she started agitating the bees to make a mad to attack Damn, the officers. Real as hell. Hey, I fuck with her. All niggas is mad What'd she do to agitate them? Put I some smoke on the shit out of her. Because no, you know they don't fuck with smoke. No, nah, I, I, I didn't think the smoke agitated them. I thought the smoke made yeah, them like... Yeah, they don't like smoke. I thought the smoke calmed them down. Yeah, I thought the smoke got them away. I don't know what the smoke do. Oh, shit. I thought that shit agitated them. Yeah, I thought they got them away from the honey. Yeah. Yeah, so, you so they could get it. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But, but nah, that's... I, I, they didn't show, but in the pictures, because they don't have video, it's her, and then it's like... She's like trying to get her bee things and she's like she got a stick poking at it like oh that. yeah she hit oh, it with a stick ready. she yeah. pinata that she motherfucker whack that was one twelve one, one, <laughs> <laughs> one officer was hospitalized but nobody was hurt I bet he was <laughs> <laughs> that <a> stick <laughs> 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 Motherfucker got a hide behind a door. Uh-huh. Y'all ready? See, niggas Pow. got that shit fucked up. Niggas in the hood got pit bulls and Dobermans. She's like, it's bitch, got I got a beehive. <laughs> I wish a nigga would run up hey, on my stash. Bro, if you had a horned hive, you know them horns mean with shit. Oh, yeah. horns that's pro- but that's up. probably why her Dude. landlord called police to enforce the eviction. Probably like, because he was like, bees. I'm not going in there. Bruh. Ain't no way. Can Yo. you imagine... Getting attacked by a swarm of bees, <laughs> nigga. That shit way just worse than a dog do a bite. Re- a routine eviction. Ass. Nope, not leaving today. Them shits <laughs> could crawl all over your ass, <laughs> sting the fuck out you. Yeah. I actually seen bees at work, man. Like stinging people. That shit is strategic yeah. as fuck, bro. Oh yeah, them niggas. Oh yeah, yeah, bro. Bro. They them niggas army. yeah, them niggas. Yeah. Bro, one and get on your neck, one get else. on your hand. Oh, yeah. I hate ants. Yeah, oh, ants, yeah. they got damn a whole civilization. Oh, yeah. Nah, I had some ants. It was like an ant hill right in front of my door. And I went out, and it was like a bunch of them. And they kind of like faced me like they were going to come at my feet. I said, all right, bitch, I got something for that. So I went back in the house. And I boiled some water and put some dish detergent in it. Damn. And Damn. Went outside. You old school did a mother. <laughs> went outside and poured that shit straight down the main, like, oh, ant yeah. hole. Killed all them shits. <laughs> Look wow. at you. Fuck you. Don't come at my feet. Hey, God's wrong shit. creatures. So am I. <laughs> man, was like, damn, we just looking. <laughs> you nah. old school oh, remedy oh, ass, nah. nigga. Oh, oh, you whole gave me hell for saying dogs are going to die Listen, anyway. we're not going to say that on this microphone. All right, cool. You These are ants. You killed a billion ants. <laughs> <God damn. laughs> These are ants. Oh, oh, they could have went anywhere. No, no, they hey. was like right in front of my door. Like, bro, you could have been on the sidewalk. You could have been over here in the grass. I would have never seen you. But you going to come right here. They say, Hold and they up. come at me like I'm the problem. She nah. coming out. She coming out, y'all. Here she comes. <laughs> nah. Hey, right, I hope um, you gonna drop some food for him. Nah. Last I but not least, man. Um, this Jenner was caught 
janitor was caught putting his penis in a woman's water bottle. Who I would have to penis? kill this nigga. <laughs> what um, I hope this shit had a wide nah, water bottle top. It didn't. It had the Aquafina. She said she was smelling. <laughs> I was, I was going to kill this nigga. She said she was smelling something strange in her water bottle every night. So she decided to put a camera on her desk at work. And she caught footage of him putting his penis inside her bottle. Damn, bro was wildin'. He gave yeah. her something. Yeah, he yeah, gave her herpes. He gave her herpes. Damn. An incurable STD. Bruh, I gotta kill this nigga. I'm breaking into the prison that he at, <laughs> and I'm murdering him right there. They'll probably kill him for you, dude. I don't even think he get prison time for that. Yeah, you do. You yeah, gotta you get some. And they, and they, uh, county got, or something. Bruh, did you hear he the charges charged. they hit him with? Yeah, What's the he charge? got charged with a deadly assault, weapon. Assault with a deadly weapon. That's assault with a deadly weapon. Oh, he did get hit assault with a yeah. deadly weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's on the same with a deadly weapon. Yeah, yeah that's on the same Look way. That like, when you have a man okay. that have AIDS or people, women who ever have AIDS and they go sleep with people, that's assault with a deadly weapon. Like, you know that you. So the weapon is your dick. Oh. The weapon is a disease. Niggas no, better get sound that. Like the weapon is my dick. What's that shit that and they be advertising? They always put gay men on the damn commercial. Weapon. No oh, prep. They Bow. need to get some prep. That prep ain't gonna help once you got it. Yeah, okay then. <laughs> what? That shit crazy. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, that was that. Uh, all right, man. Um, I right, in Hollywood news. Y'all see the Creed three trailer? Oh yeah, but shout out to my nigga good. Adonis. That's who that is. Adonis is uh Michael B. Jordan character. Yeah. Oh, okay. Who is Kang the Conqueror? Who is he? I thought he was. Co- I, the <laughs> rumor was name. he was gonna be uh, Clubber Lang's son, Thank but you. no. It's like it's like somebody that Adonis grew up with went to jail, and it's now he a boxer. Baby. Yeah. Side it, no, it looks like he was boxing and then got caught up mm-hmm. and went to jail because he said, "I'm coming back. You you live in my life." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Reminds me of Rocky Five. I'm interested. It's Michael B. Jordan's directorial debut, I think. One yes. of yes. Shout out oh, to that. He, he directed. Yeah. Yes. Directed. He directed it and he wrote it with um my Coug- Coogler. With not his brother, uh Vincent Coogler. Oh. Okay. They wrote it together. Oh. I will be going to see this. I like all the creeds. I'm a big creed too, fan. Man. It, for some reason, it motivates me to work out. Every I time tried to creed. every time, dog. Like, I tried to hate on it. I can't wait to get back. I ain't I'm gonna going lie. hard. I tried to hate on it. Like but then I Majors. saw who his mm-hmm. opponent was, and I was just like, okay. Nah, I can go they see just it. got yeah. ripped for that shit. Yeah, Jonathan really Majors looked great. Yeah, he was on the cover of Men's Health. I said, damn, nigga got titties. I hope. Michael Good B. Jordan too. don't get knocked out in production. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. That white boy knocked him the fuck out in production. Now, that that nigga's a real boxer. That is my favorite. That's my favorite. Creed. The second one? Yeah. My, the second one's my favorite because... The first one was pretty good. The first one, the really first good. one is good, but man, y'all like, yo, the Russian nigga? Yeah. And was, that nigga's a real boxer. He was a fucking killer, dog. Like, the first one, he fought a real boxer, too. A, so, A, in Creed 2, when they was training the Russian nigga, right? The Russian dude, whatever. This my fuck it. The Russian nigga. The training was so intense for him. That's what really got me on his side. And he yeah. was a killer. Like he was a killer. We get to Michael B. Jordan's training because he had fell off. He went Hollywood. Nigga went to Mexico on that ass, bro. Mm-hmm. It wasn't all that. Ah uh, man, I wish we was on Clubhouse. Jaw would beg to differ. You mean when he oh, before we, we he lost back on before he lost the fight? <laughs> Because when Michael he B. lost, Jordan wa- lost the fight. But he when did. he lost, he, he went, went to Mexico. Mexico. He took his ass over to Mexico and he started training like him. That shit wasn't shit compared. Yo, oh, you don't remember him running down the sprinting down that right. long road? Yeah. The dude was doing it in Russia with his dad already in the cold. In the cold. And that's why that nigga lost. It's a movie. And his mom was disappointed. Real, in real life, who win that? Who win that fight? Real life, who won that fight? Real life. Right, right. In real, real life, life, the nigga a real yeah. boxer the, in real life. I was going to say the real boxer. I mean, <laughs> Michael B. Jordan trained. He commercially trained for okay. movies. Nah, I mean, even though you commercially training, it'd be real training. Yeah. yeah. That's just like you wouldn't run up on Jason Statham. Hell no. Damn yeah. right, I wouldn't run up on Jason yeah, Statham. I ain't did, nigga. That nigga do who karate run up movies. on in real life. But if Steven Michael Seagal. Jordan had a really good chance, he wouldn't have got knocked out. Yo, up. I heard Steven Seagal an asshole when it come to doing movies. Yeah, I, I heard just, so, I too. Heard them too. fucking low-budget movies. He got some fucking nerve to be an asshole. I just recently seen a uh, the Vlad TV with Isaiah Washington. He said, yo, Steven Seagal was really hitting the fucking uh, bodyguards. Oh, uh, for real? God, yeah, damn. like really hitting these motherfuckers. He got banned from SNL, Steven Seagal did. But he said uh, Michael Jai White wanted his ass. 
Oh, see, that's the nigga they don't want to fight. Yeah, because they said uh, Michael Jai White. Michael Jai White, like you legit. Yeah, he wanted to fight Joe Rogan. Scenes. Who? Michael, Michael Jai White? White. That would be a good one. Yeah. That would be good. My thing is this, though. Like, movie wise, I give the edge to the Russian and I give the edge to whoever this new character is. This nigga just came off a bit in prison. Mm-hmm. He got Anna built up. And then look at him. This nigga did like, 18 years? Bro. That's what they say, I and think, the, in the trailer. Yeah, sound. nigga. I, like, fam. Like, and how do you I, come like, back and still be Creed, able to box? Creed, like, nigga, I'm, you old. Creed, not that nice, dog. I'm in First under all, the influence. He's only you got one loss. He's butthole. He's the heavyweight champion years. of the world. And, and Creed won, am I correct? Yeah. He shouldn't have lost to the Russian. In real life. I'm doing this in oh, real life. Yeah. He shouldn't well, have lost to the Russian. It was a DQ because the Russian hit him when he was down. But that's the but and to me, if you get a win off the DQ, then to me the Russian's still the better fighter. Mm. You can't tell me in Drago's nephew, grand, great, great, whatever that nigga was, you can't tell me he wasn't the better better fighter. He was just was. Hey, but hey, you gotta show and up. And I think hey, and win. I think Jordan was all in his win. weight class. All right, cool. Hey, shout out to Bianca, aka Tessa Thompson. Oh yeah, Tessa Thompson. Oh, she's the girl. Oh, yeah, How can you sing and you she, can't hear? Yo, she be making me cry Tank in this can movie. Do it. Tank can't hear? Tank is losing his hearing. Damn. Word. What's yep. that Tank song I like? Please no, don't not that go. one. That, uh, oh, that's fucked when up. We, <laughs> oh, when we. Yeah, that shit go hard. When that's we. I like when. But. He has another song called. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, Johnny's a nasty nigga. <laughs> shit he like? All right, I'm moving that on. That is my shit. Go see Creed 3. This is not an ad, but I'm going to see that. I'm going to go see that shit. Maybe once, maybe twice. You never know. I got to see what this that Black Panther watch this shit a hundred times. I already know you. I wait till the bootleg come out. All right. Hey. Yo, that shit. Yo, I, you're going you're gonna to know I watched it when I come to class twice. <laughs> well, and then take my shirt off on the second one. Like, <laughs> man, that shit go hard. All right, man. Uh, Tyler Perry Fowles is accountant staff. Mr. Chocolate. So, Mr. (laughs) Chocolate. Yo, if y'all have not seen Atlanta's episode about Tyler Perry, (laughs) y'all got to watch that shit. That shit was stupid. Y'all got to watch that shit. Go stop. Pause this podcast. Tyler Perry don't like that shit either. I'm pretty sure he don't. (laughs) Pause this podcast. Go to Hulu and watch that episode of Atlanta. Now, right now, Donald Glover might have a little bit more pull to Aaron Magruder, but he got the boondocks taken down for that shit. She slung them greets on that nigga. That nigga <laughs> say, oh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> Grits don't work on me. So he that was on Earn Your Leisure uh, doing one of their conferences. Um, their, TP? Yeah. He, uh, he was at their big conference, the uh, Invest Fest. And he was just talking about how he's made a lot of money. He's made a lot of mistakes. And so he told a story about how he was spending hundred thousands of dollars trying to fight a three year uh audit and it ended up being that he owed nine uh that the IRS ended up owed, owing him nine million dollars. Sheesh. But guess who the accountants were? Who? H and R block. Ain't that oh, I heard about them. So yeah, man. So that's the story behind that. Also, K pop group BTS has to go serve their mandatory military duty for those who don't know in South Korea. Between the ages of 18 and I think 30, you are required to serve 18 months in the military at the least in yeah. South Korea. A UFC fighter, he was on the brink of winning the title and they called him up. He had to go do his 18 months. Nigga came back, different man. The only exception to this is <laughs> global award winning athletes and classical musicians. So BTS will be halting all tours. Everything That's they, crazy. They, they should they be considered classical. Shit, like no. the Korean zombie should have been considered well, uh, an athlete. So initially, they did get a pass on their career so they could do what they do. But I think the oldest member is now 30. And I don't know how old, young the youngest member is, but it's like it's time. So they have to go do that. Damn. So. Ain't that a bitch. Right, man. What a one I'm glad we ain't got to do that shit right now. Go ahead. What? What a one of them pass? He just died for his country, man. Get a, a purple medal. Uh, South Korea is not really called. at war with they. They not they like in a cold war with North Korea, but yeah, they're not really. They're at not at war with war, anybody. So they should have an easy two. The, the probably youngest be, one is twenty six. They gonna be on the kitchen okay. staff. No, twenty five. Sorry, twenty five. Yeah, and then it, yeah, it does depends on what job you get. Like honestly, like military got so many jobs. Everybody's not a soldier. I watched this documentary on the niggas that killed Ben Laden. Boy, that shit seemed like it was intense. They got to make that shit a movie, bro. What you mean? Talk to, tell so, me all right, you guys go look it up or right, go do your research. But apparently they flew in. 
because Bin Laden was in Pakistan, but the Americans didn't want to let Pakistan know that they knew he was there. So they had to fly under the radar on these like helicopters that don't make no noise. They landed at the compound that this nigga was at. They go up in there with their guns and shit. And basically he on the top floor of this compound. It's like an apartment building type shit. Here they go in. They, they shooting people. They're shooting back at them. It's kids in there. It's women in there. And they like they think that he not in there. They think they got some bad like um, intel. Yeah, they think they got some bad intel. But they finally get to the top floor, and he in that bitch. He in bed. He got like six wives with him and shit. They say one of his wives they had to shoot because she was going crazy. Um, and they shot him in the chest or the arm or something like that. So he was kind of like down, but he had his gun on him. Um, and then they shot him again. But the set like it was a whole bunch of shit that went down. So they had to uh, one of the helicopters. Uh, they had to leave there and they had to blow it up because it, it crashed. So they had to blow it up because it had stuff in it and they didn't want anybody to find it. So they had to uh, wrap his body up, put it in the helicopter. They had to tie all the women and kids up and make sure the Pakistani government could come find them later after they got out and made their thing, after they made their uh, escape. And then they had to have another helicopter come in to replace the one that blew up to come pick everybody up. And the shit was for like a 20-minute thing. Yeah, it all hold happened on. in like 20, 20 Yeah. Minutes. Hold on, hold on. Because we... I don't know if you remember. We watched the movie on this. Um, And what you said is exactly how it happened in the movie. So they had stealth helicopters, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Helicopters. And you can't hear That's them. why they had to blow it up because they didn't want nobody to know the technology they was using. So, but the... Pel- so the Pakistani government was protecting Bin Laden? No, they weren't protecting Bin Laden, but the U.S. didn't want them to know that they was coming to get Bin Laden because they felt like if they told the Pakistani government what they was doing, that somebody would tip Bin Laden off. Gotcha. Gotcha. So they had to do that without the Pakistani government knowing. Now I want to watch Joe Bud's interview because he interviewed the guy who killed Bin Laden. And that's another thing, too, I read. It's three guys that said they it's shot three, Bin Laden. Yeah, it's three different guys. So they don't know they who it. really shot Bin Laden. It's three guys claiming they were the one that pulled the trigger. I feel like if you was in the building and you was in the room. You didn't take claim. I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck if you shot him this shot. You was in the room when they oh, you shot somebody. Oh, yeah. You shot you shot yeah, a one you, and you and one thing when I watched the movie, the first thing I thought about what's the name of that movie? Is it Zero Dark Thirty? Is that the movie where they show you how they kill Big Is Bill? That it? I, don't I think know it's Zero, Zero Dark, Dark Thirty. 30 about. When I watched that movie, you see those women and children. I'm like, who shot the kids? See, the one thing I'll tell you about soldiers when they come back with that fucking PTSD. It ain't because they was killing grown-ups. Oh, they was shooting It's because they was children. killing innocent-ass kids as well. You seen mm. American Sniper. American Sniper, that nigga was fucked up. Yes, because they go over there and they do some fucked up shit. And I'm not saying it's all on purpose, but when you got that type of power, some of them niggas abuse I wonder how shit. much them elite soldiers get paid. Because them niggas is like, them the ones that be doing that Call of Duty shit. Oh, uh, uh, not the niggas that be driving uh, Chargers and Hellcats. I they don't do nothing. They, they on the kitchen, kitchen staff. staff. <laughs> uh, yeah. I had a so shout out way. to my uncle. He's a Marine sniper. So oh, when they, yeah. When they would send him, we we don't know where he at. Yeah, they yeah. Just, yeah. He don't tell you nothing. He, he can't. just come back. Yep. I had a homeboy that went to Afghanistan as soon as we got out of high school. And he said that shit was fucking crazy. He was like, literally, like, they tell you don't talk to the kids over there because, like, that's what they do. They try to draw you in so they can kill you. Either the Yeah, kid, yeah, they have straps. It, they be strapped yeah, up, too, with bombs. They be having either guns on them or they have bombs on them. And you go in, they'll be like, oh, come on, little kid. And next thing you know, this nigga detonate, blow yeah. your ass the fuck up. <sighs> crazy, crazy world, bro. Yeah, we be man. over here in America tri- chilling. Crazy shit, bro. The Look kids out there working for the government. So that shit. My kids singing Baby Shark. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 yeah. At five years old. Yeah. For real, for Scrap real. Scrap with a bomb. Ready to die for Allah. Yeah. Straight up. Oh, it's yeah. crazy, man. They say the best show on TV right now is that show on Amazon about them uh, Navy SEALs. It's got... Um, I heard that was What's good. the guy? Star-Lord is in it? What's the name of it? <sighs> I forget the name. SEAL Team something. Yeah. SEAL Team 6? No, nah, I don't think that's Mm-mm. it. But they said it's the best show on TV right now. Mm. All right, let me move us uh, so we can capture this time. Um, okay. I wanted to ask you guys, IG is thinking about making uh, profiles have songs, like like back in the MySpace days. I was going <laughs> to see, what, what would y'all profile song be, real quick? It's probably something Craig David. I don't know. Yo, I Craig, might put Drizzy on there. You get the album I sent you? Oh, yeah. yeah okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. 
What about you? Oh, uh, and we no going to. Oh, had, uh, oh shit! I had his. Um, I went to his virtual concert. This shit was pretty straight. He Bro, did, you know we going it. there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Craig, be Craig there. David, yeah, I would look him up because he does a we lot of like, look him yeah, up they do small, like, small hole in the wall concerts over there. So I, I would definitely look him up. You say, you won't be sad that I <laughs> will give up. What's your, what's your, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, I would randomly put something up there. On a day like today, the foreign exchange. You would change yours daily. You know I would. <laughs> <laughs> shit would be some, be different all the time. Be, what's your, what's your uh, Instagram profile song? Um, I'll probably keep it the same as my MySpace. A Millie, Lil Wayne. Keep it simple. Oh a Millie, God. a Millie, a Millie. That shit was hard. All right. Um. So Ice Cube, um, y'all know has the big three. This week, uh, they said that the big they classified the big three as a black owned business. I don't hey. think anybody do that, but shout out to that. That's what's up. Um, but Ice Cube also said, "Yo, <laughs> he made a note to say come out and support." Um, especially uh, he's, he he was making a point to say like the NBA and ESPN has been trying to like downplay his league. Mm-hmm. Y'all feel like that? Yeah, I mean, I, that would, they probably don't I, take it I could see how because. Um, and big three. If anybody that knows somebody that can bring them back, I went to a game and it was a lot of fun and it was a lot of people that showed up to that game that I was surprised. Like this is like a real NBA game, mm-hmm. but it's. I mean, it's fun. It is. I I can see how they could be intimidated. Well, I mean, it's called the Terminal List. Sorry, the Chris Pratt show on oh, Amazon. Okay. Yeah, but the thing about the big three is they taking former NBA players and a lot of those players have a fan base already. Yeah, that's why I you know went because Iverson was at the game exactly. I went to. Exactly. So yeah. it's just like it's a win-win if you go because you get to see the person that you like. You know what I'm saying? Play some ball. Like yeah. I was shocked when I seen uh, Rashard Lewis playing. Oh, oh yeah. Man. And Rashard I was Lewis. like, dang. You know what I'm saying? Because I actually used to like bro when he played for uh, Seattle. Yeah. Not uh, Seattle. Because I, I wasn't on him when he was uh, playing Miami? Miami. No. Miami? When he played for uh, for Orlando. Oh, oh, when he got it. Oh, that was just oh, oh, yeah, that was yeah, a part. They, went, was uh, with, they played yeah, against the Lakers, right? The Lakers. Yeah, 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 they played. The what, they Y'all had seen the J.J. Reddick. Yet? They had uh, Jameer yeah. Nelson, Rashard Lewis. Lewis. They had Tarkaloo. Tarkaloo. They had yeah. fucking Dwight. That team yeah. was stacked, bro. That squad. That team was stacked. Now I just couldn't beat Paul Gasol. Yeah, yeah. I came up on them during that time. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, damn, that's dope. He's still playing. He got that fucking money. That nigga was getting paid to sit on the bench, too. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, Rashard Lewis. Oh yeah, but well, he was playing in Orlando when they went to because it was yeah. Turkaloo, and then Rashard would come off, yeah, and keep them threes coming. And then Joe Johnson got back in the lead by playing big three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he got a little ten day. Big ten three day. ain't bad. I mean, it's it's three on three and it's half court, but it, I mean it's entertaining if but you that, like the game of basketball. I guess IQ Ice Cube points point was like the league is trying to like you know like they didn't even give him his credit for the whole all-star game they implemented in the fourth quarter would turn off the clock you gotta oh, hit yeah, a certain that point. Was dope. yeah that, that, you know he was saying our and came three on three first. is in the olympics now yeah oh yeah oh it is mm-hmm. for women's basketball i don't think they got men i used to always oh, say shit. three on three if you can't get a five on five a three on three is always the next best option it's it, it's a more competitive it's game. more competitive like two on two is just one on one four on four is just a uh, elaborated one yeah. on one but three it's on three else they add into the olympic is, oh flag is, football is they add that to the olympics yeah mm. Shout out to you. Did she win? I didn't know. I tried to check it. I couldn't Shout tell. Niece, I need to man. call my sister. Um, yeah, we need to try out. Yo, fuck Alexis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, fuck, she Alexis. Lamar, yo, my, fuck <laughs> Alexis. My niece no, Lamar no, Jackson no, in that, that bitch, bro. <laughs> no, no offense <laughs> to the kid. Well, yeah. we, because I think it's for we, it, she, Alexis, like whoever. She was softball. She was softball. Yeah. And then Taylor yeah. was like Taylor, flag football. Yeah. Taylor's uh-huh. a five-star athlete out here. So right now, it's like 15 college programs that got a flag football uh, team. So it's crazy that flat football blowing up like that. Oh, did y'all see the clip of the woman I sent y'all dunking the basketball? Oh, yeah. yeah I seen that. Did you not see uh, how Asia Wilson sweet. better watch out. I said that. I said if Asia Wilson does not get a game or some size, it's over. It's a wrap. You say that now. Mm. Asia going to put her in a place. Man. Mm. Bro, if she hit that drop step on Asia, I don't know if Asia could jump with her. 
And she might not be a jump with her, but she might be a stopper from getting me getting that close. Hey, she got a little size on her. We'll it's see. a good drop step, but you do realize like players that's smaller than bigger diff- like people, if they don't get that ball up the f- up above their head in a certain point of time, it's in the steal zone. You can oh, steal yeah, that. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. We'll you see. Steal that. I we'll mean, see. everybody. But that was impressive. On Yao Ming. And that's that was, a, kind of the that was impressive him. to see yeah, a, to see a woman not rim rim graze. Like she put that bitch in there. Oh no, she done. Yeah, she got damn got like some she hops. She's six six and jumping like, like Brittany that. Brittany Griner does. She was. But she's a rim grazer. She's six six. God damn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she um, she's that girl long. was six six. Yeah. <sighs> you know, Brittany Griner is six nine. Oh, for real? Yes. How tall is um? Side note, what's her name from gym? Uh, six. oh, I think six three. I think. Like I know, I'm no, short. No, she's shorter than six. I thought her husband was six six. Uh, her, and she's six three. I'm gonna say her husband got to be about six four six five. I'm gonna ask. I ain't even gonna guess. I'm gonna because like I know I'm short. She stayed but down I'll be the street. Like, oh, you probably come up to her God belly button. Damn, like <laughs> shit. <laughs> she is she is tall, but I always say this: a woman's a woman's five nine is not a man's five nine. Like Kayla's five eight. Mm. But I'm five nine. Comments to myself. But she's longer <laughs> than me. So like it's y'all y'all tall is different than all tall. No, I, I mean I know I, I feel respect like that. Girl I respect is that. Six feet. She is tall. Shout out to Kayla. I'm Shout out to uh, she's the most athletic Peoples woman I know. Beautiful tall self. Because I'd be like, life. God damn, she tall. <laughs> I'm gonna ask. I was like, go ahead. I'm not yeah. going to class tomorrow, but if I was, I ask. But next time I see, I'm gonna ask. I do want to know. Real quick, man. Um, I guess I want to run through these topics. Before we uh take a break, McCaffrey was uh Christian McCaffrey has been traded to the San Francisco Forty Nine ers. The Panthers, uh, the like Panthers no, are in a real build. Uh, James, let's go Tampa play. Bay. James' favorite point guard, <laughs> James Book Knight, was arrested. He was blocking the entrance to his apartment building downtown with the Glock in his lap. Glizzy. He had the glizzy on him, but he put twenty five hundred up to the bond. He out on bond right ain't now, nothing, sitting on the ain't bench. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's silly, man. Hornets eighth place or ninth place? Which one? Oh, shit, we ninth. Don't we worry, I have I'll, I'll have What's league pass on the TV on, uh, in one more month, guys. Don't worry, I have. They play it pass. on a in a in a NBA countdown. They say you play in, play off, or play it out. Mm. Play in. Hornets play in. So what's Hornets play in? As long as we get sure. Melo back, we we play in. Anybody heard some um some news on Bridges? That nigga gone, oh, nah, bro. Nah, nah, that nigga nah, about nah. to do time. Nah. I know he's about to do they time, but him. they pushed his court date back. Oh, he got dropped, though. They took him off the yeah, roster. Yeah, he's not on the roster. Oh, damn. Damn, that sucks. Um, all right, uh, week eight picks. And then Montrez Harrell ass is in uh, Philadelphia. Philly. Philly. Yeah. Like nigga over here trapping and ain't going to go to Philly. Yeah, yeah, that's man. where the trap is at. All right, man. I'm gonna take this shit a little serious now because I'm down on my count on my uh, numbers. We ain't gonna week this week. Bro. All right, Ravens at the Bucks. I'm gonna take the. Whew, whew, that's a good shit. Thursday night who game. Home, who home? Uh, the Bucks is home. Bucks. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna take the Bucks too on that one. Uh, Broncos at the Jaguars. I'm gonna take the Jags. Man, Broncos not looking good. Russell Wilson can't throw the ball down the middle of the field. Mm. Uh, Lions at the Dolphins. No, Dolphins at the Lions. <sighs> this is a hard one. I'm gonna go with the uh, Dolphins. Panthers at the Falcons. I'm going to keep it real, man. I'm going to go with the Falcons, man. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> What's my guy here? <laughs> quack, quack, quack. I'm going to keep it real, man. Oh, this shit's sad for us, man. Cardinals at the Vikings. Give me the Vikes. Bears at the Cowboys. I'll take the Cowboys. My nigga Dak back. Raiders at the Ooh. Saints. I'm going to take the Raiders. Steelers at the Eagles. Of course, the Eagles on a run. I'm taking the Eagles. Okay. Patriots at the Jets. I'm going to take the Jets. They on a, a good uh, run this year. Ooh. Titans at the Texans. I'll take the Titan, Titans. Titans. Yeah, Giants. God damn. Take your time. Thank you. <laughs> Giants at the Seahawks. I'm going to take the Giants. Let them use Commanders at the Colts. I'll take Colts. <laughs> 49ers at the Rams. Give me the Niners. Packers at the Bills. God damn. That's another hard one. I'll take the Bills right now. And then a Monday night game. Bengals at the Browns. I'll take the Bengals. All right, man. That was Johnny Weeks. Week eight picks. I think at this current moment you are fifty. That's in the group chat. Fifty. Hey, I got a winning record. Forty-three, fifty-one, and forty. And if I never chose the Panthers every week, and that should be, be a lot 50, better. Yeah, you'd be about fifty-eight, fifty-seven. <laughs> that's, your, that's your fault for being a fan. Yeah. yeah so. Now fuck him now. <laughs> hey, can you beat Johnny, man? Let us know. All right, man. I wish um, I asked would say go. Right. He don't ever say that. Go ahead. 
And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, man, we do a weekly show. Mm. I'm pretty sure y'all heard this talked about time and time and again. Kanye was definitely in the news for his anti-Semitic rhetoric. I think that we talked about here last week on this show. Um, the rhetoric continued, and he didn't back down. He ended up on Drink Champs. That dropped on Monday of last week, um, which eventually got pulled by YouTube and that Drink Champs. Crazy, bro. He also ended up on Chris Como defending his anti-Semitic comments, and also he talked to Pierce Morgan, and he's been dropped from Balenciaga. I'm not sure if he's been dropped from Gap. I think he has. No, Balenciaga was the first to do the it. First. Gap is... I, last I heard, Gaff is discussing it, but I don't know yet. Um, is he not proving his point? Ah, uh, kind of low key. Is he not proving his point? It's not palatable. As long as it's not palatable to print and paper people, then regardless if he proves his point or not, it's confusing for me to go for white lives matter to the Jews that try to take my money. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, which one is it? But he and, told Como. He told him. You know what Jews I'm talking about. I don't have listen. I don't have a problem with No, we know. I don't have a problem with a lot of things that he said. Let me say that. I don't he ne- he never said he's going to kill anybody. He's not uh, he's not trying to attack anybody. He's tr- not trying to hurt anybody. But he is just speaking his piece and I don't have a problem with that. I don't even have a problem with white lives matter like bro. You know how many ignorant black people I run into on a daily basis just in the streets who say crazy shit? He's just I just add him to the list. But I think the thing that was damning was the comments about the George Floyd thing. Now, the comments about the George Floyd thing, um, which Candace Owens point, pointed out, which if you watch the interview, he, that wasn't his, that wasn't him speaking. He was speaking about a documentary that came out on George Floyd. Mm-hmm. And so before you see the clip online, He's telling Noriega, hey, it's kind of like the George Floyd documentary. In the documentary, the knee is not on the neck. But when you get the clip online, it starts from the knee is not on the neck. You don't hear the on the documentary, da 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 da. So they're suing him for $250 million. I heard he already gave them some money, too. I don't know how true that was. I think that's true. Ooh. I think that's true. Kanye gave, they, uh, he gave a scholarship to the George Floyd daughter, is what I saw. I uh, think that's true. We probably did. Um, he getting sued for 22? 20, 20, 250 million. So then yeah. why do we not hold the people responsible for cut, making that clip for cutting that clip? Yeah. I, 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 I mean, they'll th- probably lose in court. Yeah, that's one of the things we have to see play out, man, because I don't think they really have a case when you when you hear the whole thing. I don't think they really have a case. I don't think he drummed up anything that wasn't already drummed up for that family. Um. Man, he just he just on a campaign, man. He just on a campaign. I don't know what it's about. I still think he's crazy. Some people think he's in his <laughs> right mind. I even seen another interview. Nigga selling hoodies. I even seen another interview. Holy he did I thought this you week. said you, he was in his right mind. I don't think he's in his right mind. Y'all think he's I in thought his right he was mind. In his I don't, right don't, mind. don't. They say he's in his right mind. People who know him closely say, "Yo, this is him just being him." I don't think he's all there. I don't think he's thinking it out. And, but if I missed through is the you, wire, Kanye. But I still, I uh, mean, I like Kanye. I just missed through the wire, Kanye. If this is you thinking it out, then cool. Man, I'm a fan of Kanye, and every year Kanye do a publicity stunt. Not to say this one is one, but it seemed very publicity. Yeah, it's like we forget about him. We're yeah. not even forgetting about. Him. We just ain't heard from him in a while. Yeah, and then this is how we hear from him. Yeah, <laughs> my Adidas app has been going crazy since all of this started. I get a notification every week Big for a facts. new pair of Yeezys. They're so about to sell all them Yeezys. My watch keep going off like, hey, that shit implode. Hey, you want the Yeezys? You sure you don't want the Yeezys? <laughs> and he just keeps talking crazy. They keep pushing more Yeezys to yeah, my phone. About like, to be with they got Reebok. some 350s dropping soon. They so. got some uh some of the Yeezy boots on there. Oh no, I'm waiting. I want, I, some easy easy yeah, I, want, I want some easy boots. Yeah, I want some easy boots. Not the knee-high shits that he be wearing. Oh, I want them all. Nah, want <laughs> he that. hasn't designed the boot I don't like yet. Mm. Even the big bubble coat one, I would have got those. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mess with those. My thing was the 375 price tag, and at the moment, I couldn't just throw 375 out the window. So I took the other boots. And brother, you know you got to try goat. Uh, you looked on goat? G-O-A-T. Say it, say it in the mic. What, 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 what uh, I got to try? You got to look on goat. What, what's on goat, my brother? Uh, some Yeezy boots. <laughs> Clarina. 
It sounded like <laughs> it sounded like an ad when he was pitching it to me. That Clarina endorsement. I told my boy I can't even get started with Clarina. Like I feel like that shit's gonna go wrong. But anyway, man, prayers out <laughs> to Kanye. For easy man. payments, bro. Yeah, yeah, that shit sounds like it's gonna go wrong. Uh, damn, where's my shit at? Anything's possible. There we go. Anything's possible. Those the ones I want. The ones I want. But I also want the nine fifties from season one. Type in season military one. boots, bro. Them shit's fire though. Yeah, All right, man. Oh shit, I'm not even ready. This reads real nigga of the week. Real nigga. Um, da 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 da. Keep them candles burning. Oh, the Minnesota police. Yes, Dude. yes, yes. I want to fire this up for the listeners. I knew it was some shit when he took his sweatshirt off. Yeah. Um, I know those police officers felt like fucking penises. They kind of like them, but I like those two. I'm like, that's season two. It's season one. Season one. All right. Uh, what's this man's name? Alexis. Hold up. Uh, Alex Mingus. Alex Mingus was honored by the Minnesota police with an award for vi- valor, and this is how he handled it. Chief's Award for Valor in recognition for your heroic efforts. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. I'd like to give you an opportunity to say a few words. Yeah. Um, I appreciate it. I, uh, I feel like I, I did what anyone would have done with the little bit of training that they have, that I have. I'm a certified firearms instructor. I work in this high school in Minneapolis. I'm a dad and a husband and a wonderful community member. Um, That day, nine of your squad cars raced past us as I was flagging them down. It said in the letter you sent me and that was a potential of 18 people. 18 people could have stopped to help preserve life. But 18 people chose to go to a potential threat. And I, and I recognized the man had a pistol and we didn't know what he was doing. Um, I do appreciate the recognition, um, but I won't keep this stuff. This will go to my mom and this will probably go to my son. <laughs> because I'm very uncomfortable being here with you guys. I do not rock with the police. But I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to say these things. And I just want folks to know that they don't keep us safe. We keep us safe. Um, That's real. At least they didn't block us. Riots work. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank Thank you, Alex. (laughs) Thank you. Y'all be safe out here. Y'all niggas go by me. Listen, a lot of real niggas happened this week, but that one stuck. I've never heard a, a more considerate, I don't fuck with the police. <laughs> nah, factual. And the cop was like, uh, uh, should I jump in here? Or uh, no, nah. nigga, let me say my shit. Uh, Ryan's let me, work, Let me speak nigga. my shit. Riots work. I said that shit too when the George Floyd shit come was going on and we finally was rioting in the right neighborhoods. I was like, yes, <laughs> they're gonna fucking change. Riots things. work, nigga. Yes, riots work. And just nigga not had in your the, neighborhood. Uh, in white supremacy shirt on. Yeah, yeah, he took the hood off. <laughs> True Minnesotan with the ten, twins hat, man. Shout out to that man, yo. All right, Dust Metal, man. Let's do it. Dust Metal this week goes out to rapper Young Jock. It's going down. Yes. Maybe he had a trial. But it wasn't going down on his Zelle account. I guess he was trying to send money to somebody and he sent it to the wrong person. $1,800 to the wrong person. He blessed somebody with $1,800. The messages he was sending. The fact that he's a dunce is because he reached out to this person and said, listen, brother, you know what I'm saying? God's got other blessings for you. Now, I don't know who this brother or sister was that received this $1,800, but Young Jock, you were the blessing for those people. <laughs> you bless those people with eighteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Nigga told him to do the right thing. There's no other blessings. There's no other right things to do. He you, told him to do the right thing. You have made a mistake. What you That's have to crazy. do now is call and file fraud with your bank. Yeah, which they gonna deny because you knowingly sent that money to that person. Yes, because um, they'll definitely ask you about five, eight uh, times. Are you sure? Are, are you, you sure? sure this number's not you in your contact? Double check here. 
Stop. Are we confirming? This is the amount. And he still was like, yep, 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 yep. Oh, shit. You know, God gonna bless you if you send that money back. No, you're not. No. <laughs> well, just blessed you. <laughs> Listen, man. It's money. It'll Where come you back think to blessings you know? come from? No, Jack yep. ain't got it like that no more. Yeah, that sounds I mean, like you know, it. You got that radio money, man, on the radio? Shit. $1,800 must be They replaced picture. the Breakfast Club with his, his ass yeah, here in no, Charlotte. His show is pretty good. I like his show. I'm like, man, y'all put the Breakfast Club back on. For wheels. Um, uh, somebody had sent me money before on that on, uh, cash app. That you nigga was back. mad as hell. Yeah, I gave it back, but I didn't even know he had sent it to you me because I ain't got my nigga. alerts on my cash app. Yeah, so good. I checked the shit. I see, I see I got an email. How much? It was only 25 bucks, oh, man. but it was like, hey, man, accidentally sent you money. Could you send it back? But I didn't know these messages were coming in. And then, like, the third message was like, bruh, stop motherfucking playing. <laughs> 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 I sent the nigga his money back. But now, uh, a story, man, quick story. Uh, when, when I was younger, we went to my dad. His boss had a... Um, a yard sale and we bought a uh my parents bought a dresser from the yard sale we got the dresser home it had 10 grand in it man, and my listen. parents took it back over there oh, man wow. yeah man wow. i would have been like mama you can't <laughs> all the nigga me. gave us was some panthers tickets <laughs> for our hospitality for 10 grand yeah man they did it right there well that karma been pretty good so. yeah 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 i guess so uh, I would have kept that. I shit. opened that shit. I'm like, I don't know how old I was, but I was like, we rich. We rich. <laughs> you're like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, my parents. And it's crazy. I remember it like now that I'm older, I think back and they how they was like sitting down, like contemplate what they're gonna do with that money. Keep and they shit. end up taking it back to the people. Yo, I, I ain't gonna lie though. Like, they did the right thing. Ten grand ain't a lot. I mean, ten grand is a lot. But it ain't like it's a, a lot, lot at, at one, one time. time. Yeah. yeah. It's a Especially lot when you're struggling. Imagine what I do with ten right now. <laughs> right. I'm not giving that. We shit out of here. <laughs> I, I keep tell, I, here. I keep telling somebody I want a thirty thousand dollar loan. Did, is it thirty? How much money I be asking for? Loan. You could, know. man. You, you got equity in this crib. Thirty, 30 yeah. 40, equity. Fifty. Yeah. I need about fifty thousand dollars. No, I don't want a loan. I want a grant. I think. That's oh, what I want. yeah, you want a grant? You want I want else money. I want somebody to give me fifty k. Your name ain't Grant, nigga. There's a few grants I can apply for that I know about. I can grant. Person of the week. All right, man. Person of the week goes out to F1 driver Lewis Hamilton. Hey. Whew, man. Shout out to Lewis Hamilton, bro. This nigga donates 20 million euros a year uh, to his foundation, which is the Mission 44 Foundation, which aims to help uh, people from underrepresented groups and gain opportunities in education and employment. He got a show on Netflix. Go check that shit. I think they're on the, like the fifth season. It's actually pretty good. Just follow his uh, like his season every year when he do F one driving. Mm. Uh, but he's the only black driver in F one right now. Um, but the nigga donates. They said it's like seven percent of his salary goes to that foundation. I ain't giving none of my money once I get rich. Oh, wow. Nah, I'm lying. I already do it. If I always said if I got rich, I'm definitely going straight to the homeless, man. I'm I'm gonna do something for somebody. I'm starting programs for teenagers. Yeah, I'm going straight to the homeless. Where I get these calls. people off the streets, bro. I gotta keep these teens out of trouble, and and out of taps. <laughs> Stay out of taps. Now nah, I'm gonna buy them apartments. They have them living in the apartments. They you gonna know start saying? cooking crack. <laughs> right now nah, I'm gonna have somebody in there checking in on them every day, bro. And and they gonna you. have him cooking crack. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what would you donate your money to? Where would I don't? I donate What's the cause to, you care about? To my niggas' pockets. Hmm? Making sure y'all That's niggas get straight. I appreciate you. Yeah. What's your cause you care about? Darn. Okay. Are you going to rebuild Durham? No, I don't need to rebuild it. It's you actually Easter growing. Durham? Nah, I will give it back to my high school, my middle school, my elementary school. Um, make sure my family is straight. I feel you. I might buy a field for uh, mentorship programs. That's, for, what uh, that's what's up. You ain't going to give me nothing. Advance. Excuse like, me? You ain't going to give me we're no money. We're talking about no. donate money. Like, nigga, you didn't you play no money. football. No, you didn't play about, no like, causes you care about that you <laughs> donate. Track, nigga, I but I want that stadium named huh? after me. I got a cause. No, I'm Do just power. saying. Like, no, I'm not. <laughs> 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 Goddamn. Charlotte Ward. That's Charlotte Ward. This is the episode. I got a cause, nigga. 231 of this podcast, yeah, Chase man. Bank. <laughs> Next time you hear from us, it'll be in a few weeks, man. Capital uh, One. Thank you for joining us today, everybody. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe on YouTube. We on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Netflix. Pay my Netflix for a year. 
Yo, get the ad subscription, man, if it's hurting your pockets, bro. Nah, I can't do that. The Hulu ads be tripping. I'm like, man, again? I'm about to pay know. out an extra $5. Hulu like TV to me. I don't mind ads. I be Hulu like, oh, don't bother ads. me. It bothers yeah. me. I think the only, the only thing tale. that annoyed me this it's week was Spotify. It's an opportunity to go get something to eat. Oh, I forgot Spotify. But you got the free fire on Spotify? Yeah. Oh, uh, I just got the... Uh, on my, at my job. Shout out yeah. Santana. I got the paid Spotify. Now. Shout out to Santana. Mm-hmm. For the free. Shit, who else would be on tagging me on some fucking bills? I'm like, oh, again, Discovery Plus. <laughs> Paramount Plus, Peacock, Disney, you got too much, Disney, bro. ESPN Plus. You need to cut some of that shit off. That's yeah, why I like to. the pray up front I, uh, option. Like I want the Just NBA League the pass, year. but I'm waiting to see if they do a sale so I can get it for twenty dollars cheaper. Mm-hmm. Cause I got the MLB pass for sixty bucks. Mm. So if I can get this shit for eighty bucks, I'm gonna have league pass. Yeah. But I'll still pay the hundred. But I'd rather pay up front instead of fourteen ninety nine. My fucking a Madden month. Ultimate Team. I be putting twenty bucks in my shit. Get some fucking Madden coins. All right, man. Close the original remarks. crypto. Uh, yeah, let me see. That is original crypto. Um, don't walk in a dark alley at night. I was going to say, definitely yourself. be safe. Um, <laughs> don't let nobody poke in your butt, Johnny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> my nigga Woody. Uh, <laughs> Fuck what you talking about. What you doing is a conversation starter. I was going to say that. Yes. What you doing is a conversation starter. Talk that shit, Jack. Uh, oh, yeah. W-D-Y-D. Yo. Ladies, if you want poetry, go read a book. Uh, ah, talk that shit, James. Let's go. Um, Let's go. Man, he preaching. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he preaching, nigga. Nigga, hop on this bitch single. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up single. <laughs> Fellas. W-Y-D suffices for the woman you want. Exactly. Send that shit, right. If she wants you, she'll take your exactly. W-Y-D. Right. Listen, if she man. she don't want you, then there you she go. She don't nigga. think that W-Y-D is where your dick. And it's right what? here, baby. <laughs> where your dick? <laughs> All right, man. Listen, man. This has been episode 231, man. <laughs> I'm signing off for D. I'm signing off for Johnny. I'm, I'm signing off for James. <laughs> listen, Me too. I'm I want you sleep. guys to love the life you live and the people in it. Find a positive in every situation to live in the moment because this life is not forever. I'm your boy, Jumpman Jones. We're going to talk to y'all next Make sure y'all pull out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's your advice? <laughs> That's a great advice. From a nigga that got two kids. You can do it first. Pull out, pull out. Never take it personal. Show no mercy. Bro, taught me that way back. Come on, took it off. I was always talking. Take hoes when you stay at. Keep a stash house. You can't take none to the spot where you lay at. Dad, 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 are you on the radio?